Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and welcome to uh, Closer's Copy Tutorial. Uh, this is going to be my first look at Megatron, which is Closer's Copy's long form composer, which apparently can write up to 3,000 words for me at a time, completely, uh, basically hands free without me needing to actually type anything other than this initial input that I put here. So uh, this is gonna be an interesting one. Um, they just released this feature. Again, it's called Megatron. It's a closers copy feature. And the server immediately got flooded by users wanting to try it out. Uh, it crashed their server briefly, I think, and they've managed to get it back up. So I managed to get this query through. So we're gonna play around with this a little bit and then we're gonna try and write something with it and see what happens. And uh, if you, are enjoying the channel. If you get value out of these videos and you want to see more content like this, uh, I really encourage you to like the video and subscribe. And if you would like to check out Closer's Copy, um, you can get it using one of my affiliate links, which will be either in the description or in the pinned comment. All right, so without further ado, let's dig into this. So basically the way that Megatron, the long form composer for Closer's Copy AI copywriting works, is you put in a search query, which I've already done, and it pulls up all of these headings, all of these potential headings related to it. And then you can go through and you can either expand or remove them. And then once you've selected the ones that you want, you hit compose and it writes up to 500 characters per heading and up to 3000 characters in total. Oh, did I say 3000 words? Okay, I misspoke. Um, it's 3000 characters. Less exciting, still very exciting though. Um, that's a ton of content. So let's dig into this. Um, copywriting versus content writing. What's the difference between the two? I'm happy with that being my first heading. Um, cut through the noise of marketing. We can get rid of that. Storytelling matters now more than ever. What happens if I click expand though? That's what I'm curious about. See if we crash the server again. Oh, I see, it expanded into an H2. Oh, that's really cool actually. So I wanna expand this one then. Oh, and if you're wondering why there's no face cam today, um, it's super hot in my apartment and I had to close the windows and turn off the fan so that you could hear me. So I'm not wearing a shirt and I figured that we would just keep this, uh, you know, keep this clean. All right. So we've got content writing versus copywriting. What's the difference between the two? Um, okay, that's not helpful. Huh, I don't like really either of those. That's unfortunate. Remove them. Copywriter versus content writer, seven key differences. Get rid of this. Copywriter sells while well, a content writer informs. I would agree with that. I mean, I always argue that like content writing and copywriting are effectively the same thing. They're just like different offshoots of the same, um, basically the same kind of uh, the same kind of exercise. Because, like, I mean, yes, this is this is true. Where was it? Um, a copywriter sells while a content writer is informs. Very true, but part of selling is informing and part of uh, informing is selling. Like, you know, you don't write content with the intent that people are not going to buy from you. You write content as part of your top of the funnel that creates trust and uh, an audience of people who want to buy from you. So content writing is copywriting. Copywriting is content writing. But obviously there are differences and it's important to understand the differences so you can do both correctly. But so we'll leave that. Okay, it's actually covering what I just said right here. Um, content writers are generally more focused on SEO, not necessarily. So we'll get rid of that. Again, not necessarily. There's, <laughs> I don't know if you, uh, if you buy stuff on like Warrior Plus or JVZoo, they have sales pages that go on for days, like, and they're, it's all copy. It's not like it's content writing, you know, it's, it's, it's all hardcore conversion optimized copy 
that is in every single word designed to try to sell to you. And uh, those some of those sales pages are like 3,000 words plus long. Content writers contribute to a long-term strategy, also to copywriters if you're doing it right. Content writers drive organic traffic. Copywriters turn that traffic into leads. Okay, I like that. I like that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I like this because it's about SEO. <laughs> See what it has to say about SEO. What's the difference between content writing versus copywriting? We already covered that. Is there such a thing? But what about SEO copywriting? Being a highly searchable term? Okay, I'm curious what it'll say. So I'm gonna leave those ones. When to hire, and, and I can move, I haven't, I haven't wanted to yet really, but uh, like I can move these up and down. So that's pretty neat. What about SEO copywriting being a highly searchable term? When to hire a copywriter? When to hire an SEO content writer? Types of SEO content writer. Don't cram your copy full of keywords. Okay. How to find the best content, SEO content writer for your project. Sure, well, what do you have to say about that? Find a writer who knows SEO. Ask if your writer understands conversion copywriting. Both writing different results. So I'm starting to get some duplicate inputs here. So some of the H2s up here that got expanded off the other topic are the same as these H1s. So I'm probably gonna remove a whole bunch of them right here. I don't think I have that up there. Okay, so we gotta move this and this. This is kind of annoying. There should be a better way of moving them up and down. How do I make it an H2? So I would like this to be an H2. Here we go, there we go. So you can just kind of slide them in there and they become a subtopic rather than, there we go, H2, H2. So this is actually really neat. Obviously it needs some work. They literally just released this feature, possibly only to, to legacy users like myself. And uh, yeah, it's probably getting flooded right now. Well, let's see if we can make these H3s. Yep, that was it, that was it. There we go, H3. No, not H4, come on, H3. What they really need for this is keyboard shortcuts. I don't think there are any yet, but I'm gonna definitely let them know that they should consider that. I mean, I don't want to have multiple H1s, but that's just kind of the way that, can I, can I change this all at once? No. Oh, yes I can. Okay, I'll do that then. Yeah, see, like this is true. Content writers drive organic traffic, copywriters turn that traffic into leads. This is true, but like, what if you can do both at the same time? You know, like, what if, yeah, and you can, some people are gonna see your message and immediately buy from you. Not a lot, but, you know, most people it takes time and it takes effort, but, uh, you know, you're, you're not always gonna have an opportunity to hit some, somebody with like pure copy. Sometimes your content writing needs to convert. And uh, I don't know, that's just the way I feel about it. What do you think? Leave me a comment, let me know. Oh, okay, here we go. Can they be found together? So let's put that as an H3 on this one. All right, hopefully I don't have too many topics here. We're gonna hit compose and we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's go. I might, uh, I might skip ahead because it's probably gonna take a while to compile this. But uh, I mean, I would like to show you the real amount of time that it takes to write this content for me. Oh, hey, 188 characters, not bad. Um, I would like to show you the entire process, but I'm not gonna, you know, have 10 minutes of this blue thing spinning if that's what it takes. And yeah, this is, this is a really interesting topic to have a robot write about for me um, and just kind of give me the chance to talk about it. And uh, so just, just to clarify, I am uh, a copywriter. I, I get paid pretty well to write copy for uh, 
big brands that you know could uh, could could be paying pretty much anyone to write their copy, but they choose to have me do it. And uh, I also write a lot of content. Uh, I write content for clients as well. I write content for myself. I write copy for myself. And the more that I, I mean, the more that I understand how they're different and distinct, the more that I realize that, you know, the same skills are applicable. And the more that you interweave them with each other, uh, I think the more beneficial. Although obviously there's, there's limitations to that. Like I don't mean that you should try and cram a whole bunch of information into every piece of copy you write. And I don't mean that you should try and conversion optimize every single piece of content that you write. But it's like, it's like having an intelligent call to action in your articles, you know, like, like does your article, does it just inform or does it also inspire people to take action? If your article informs, then you've done a good job as a content writer. But if your article informs and inspires, you've done a great job as a content writer because you've included aspects of copywriting in your content. And uh, that's, uh, that's how I feel about that. And at this point, I'm just trying to find something to say so that I can eat up more of this uh, blue spinny thing load time. Hey, we're up to over 2,000 characters now, getting close to 3,000. It's probably going to be really spread out because I had so many headings in there and it only writes 3,000 characters. Uh, so it's probably going to be like, you know, like a little bit of text here, a little bit of text there, trying to fill in all the space. But that's actually good because that's going to give me a really good framework to get started on. And that's uh, that's all that I want from these robots. To be honest, I, I don't trust them enough uh, to to write everything for me and deliver a finished product, but I definitely trust them enough to like do research and brainstorm for me and uh, put a bunch of words together that I can work from. All right, we're almost there. Boom. So this is one of the things that I love about Closer's Copy. Like, look at this. It's got this scrollable table of contents over here, so I can just click around. Oh wow, that's not great. Okay, <laughs> gonna get rid of that. A good copywriter will create high quality copy that will help the company rank higher in search engine results so that consumers can find the products and services they need. They can monitor these search terms using tools such as Google Analytics to adjust the content they produce to suit emerging trends. The skill set of a copywriter includes a deep understanding of marketing strategy and advertising principles. Mm, it kind of sounds like you're talking about content writing, though, now, doesn't it? <laughs> They're often in charge of creating the overall messaging to the buyer. That's copywriting. Um, but, I mean, that, that's also content strategy. You, you want to have a content strategist, someone who really understands strategy, create your strategy and kind of teach it to your writers. This sets up the marketer for success by providing consistent messaging or at least enough. Anyways, I'm not going to read all this to you. That would be boring, but check it out. So this is what I just produced with um, with Megatron in Closer's copy. So I hope that uh, this brief, so I got 804 words. I'm sorry that I said at the beginning that it was 3,000 words. I was just, I misspoke. Um, it, it's 3,000 characters, but it actually gave me more than 3,000 characters. And uh, this is like a really good, you know, way to start an article, I think. And apparently I can regenerate and get more text. I uh, have to figure out how to do that. But anyways, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Megatron. Let me know if you're using Closer's copy. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe so that you can catch the next video. All right, take care and I will see you soon.